During the Obama administration, it was fashionable to say that manufacturing jobs were a thing of the past and that we shouldn't wait around for their return. And those like Trump who said that they could be brought back were accused of being anachronistic and pandering to lower income voters. Obama specifically said Manu some manufacturing jobs are just not going to come back and said that Trump would need a magic wand to restore them. Uh, Paul Krugman, the New York Times columnist and economist, said after the, after the election that nothing policy can do will bring back those lost jobs. The service sector is the future of work, but nobody wants to hear it. Well, it turns out that's not true. Uh, in the last 21 months of the Obama administration, there was very little growth in manufacturing jobs, as he predicted. But in the first 21 months of the Trump administration, there have been 326,000 manufacturing jobs added to our economy, 10 times the total in Obama's last 26 months. It turns out manufacturing jobs that offer very good paying jobs with very good benefits to blue collar workers can come back and are coming back largely because of deregulation, getting the government off the backs of these manufacturers and letting them do their thing. Uh, the tariffs that Trump is imposing on China that eliminate and cut back unfair competition, the corporate tax deduction and reduction that Trump has passed, and his tax-free treatment of foreign capital so they can be repatriate the money in the U.S. without paying a penalty. Uh, those steps have revived manufacturing and really done more than any recent policy to eliminate the gap between the rich and the poor in the United States. In the last quarter, wages for blue-collar workers outstripped those for white-collar workers, which in turn outstripped those for those with graduate school educations. The pyramid turned upside down and the blue-collars were on top for the first time in a very long time. Thank you, President Trump.